Hit it, girl. Um, do you mind if I call you Gary? You can call me anything. I've been called worse. Oh, I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> I understand that perfectly. So, Gary, you know, day after Father's Day, I was reading your book. Mm -hmm. I know that your daughter, Laura, did a lot of blood things for you. Yeah. She was a backup singer. Yep. A GPS system. A gopher. Yeah. Your tour manager. All wrapped in one. So Everything. How, yeah, how, how important is he to you right now? Uh, she's very important to me. She did always not only my daughter, like you said, she 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 does everything, and she does it well. So I, I can't get rid of her. I wouldn't dare anyway. Mom wouldn't let me anyway. Mm. <laughs> when I was reading your book, mm -hmm. and I was at the same time I was listening to you on YouTube, mm -hmm. I noticed that in the letter half, like say in the early '80s, uh, it was nice of uh, Bruce Springsteen to help you out. Yeah. And you made your comeback in the early '80s. Mm -hmm. And I was with Angeline, and I was like, "Wow, my readers didn't know that that you that Bruce Springsteen helped you out when you made your comeback." Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Him and uh, Steven Zant, the old East Street guys. You know, Gary Talent was involved in the studio with us also. So I mean, it was a good uh, it was a good feeling all around. They all knew me. They all knew my stuff. They all knew what I like, and and I kind of knew what they like, and uh, it was a good mix. So, okay, I was reading your book, and I studied entertainment management, mm -hmm. and I got my butt kicked at a talent agency, yeah. and I came up to your um, chapter 15, which is my favorite book chapter, yeah. it's called No Beef at Alley. Oh, yeah. So, um, can you tell me how the music industry has changed when you were just starting in your early 62, what it is now? Well, it's, it's, it's a little different, you know, of course, technology has changed quite a bit. When I started recording, I was doing two tracks. And now there's, I don't know, a hundred and something tracks. Now you can go go forever, you know. In fact, I have about 128 tracks at my home now in the studio. So it's a whole lot different from when I started out. But it's still it's still the same. You still got a lot of crooks out there, you know. <laughs> so I tell all the young folks right now, you know, the best thing you can do before you get into it, find a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And then go from there, you know, because you're gonna need it. So, or go, or you know, have your daughter help you out. <laughs> a, a, exactly, right. But that I'm not lending her out. No, she's too special. <laughs> she's more, she's too good. Yeah. Um, about today's audience, today's music. I noticed that a lot of DJs, especially on the brand new soundtrack for the Great Gatsby, done by Baz Luhrmann. Mm -hmm. There's a current trend now on the hip, hipster kids. Where they take um, songs that are older than them or older than their parents, and they would like remix it, yeah. mashups for their own generation and for today's kids. So, yeah. which artist, which DJ, which producer you want to work with for today? Uh, I only work with me. <laughs> yeah, I like me. I like me and my daughter doing what we do because uh, I haven't been able to do that in many years. I started out using everybody else and everybody else was using me. Mm -hmm. Now I want to do my own thing. I don't want to know from nobody else. So are you willing to learn about the, the newest technology so you can put out the latest dance hit? Oh yeah, I could do really? it if I wanted to, but I like doing what I do the way I want to do it, you know. Oh. Yeah. It, it sounds good. It's working for me. Yeah. Well, um, Gary, that's the only thing I can think of right now. You know. From... What? I know. <laughs> Antonio, you know, let me up to like, you know, four questions and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but they're all, you got your fans getting up there and they're going to be angry at me if I hold you up. Oh, okay. Okay. But I want to say thank you for giving me plenty of time to tell you all these questions. Sure. And um, my dad used to put in Spaniel Records and that's how I grew up knowing me when I was a little baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you're still a little baby. Oh, come on. Yeah, I still smell Similac on your breath. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you have fun in LA with your daughter. Oh, I will. I'm sure I will. All right, here we go. Done with the new digital.